Yeah, so now we're on the roof, uh, just above the sample point that I showed, where it comes directly out of the engine, which is a Perkins uh, 30,000 cc motor, uh, driving a uh, you know, 300 kilowatt generator. Uh, so here is where the uh, exhaust comes up and comes into the, uh, the sphere, which is actually a, uh, a 24 inch sphere with an 18 inch sphere inside it, which directs the flow. In fact, we can come around probably the other side there uh, later and we'll show that. Directs the flow in an anti-clockwise direction because anti-clockwise is how explosion, exploding uh, uh, energy goes. In the universe, there's no straight lines. Everything that moves is moving in a curve. Every curve is part of a spiral and every spiral is either imploding or exploding. And so therefore you have two distinct uh, events, uh, is that you either have the life force, which is imploding and bringing every, everything together for life and planets to exist. And then you have the death force, which is designed to redistribute that. And you don't want to be redistributed while you're alive, obviously. Uh, and even if you're a planet, you don't want to be redistributed back into the galaxy. So basically then the, uh, the death force Death of destruction is a spin that is exploding and tearing things apart. Now, when you counterpose those two primal forces of the universe, you create a disruption which is going to create some unique geometry in your plasma that's developed if you have the right geometry and the right inputs. So basically, in this sphere, we're forcing the air to spin uh, in an anti-clockwise direction, which creates automatically on the inside sphere a clockwise direction. And one is coming into a vacuum of the engine and the other is leaving the engine. And in this connecting pipe, which is a six inch and a four inch, you have that same uh, mechanism happening. We've got here is our transition, uh, 51.84 degrees into this pipe and that transition uh, ensures that we don't lose the, uh, the stored energy that from the plasmoids that have been developed in the bubbler and grown uh, and charged, grown inside and charged uh, within this thunderstorm generator. So you can think of it as lightning, that there's discharges between uh, the positive side charge and the negative side charge, there's also, you can view this sphere as a net positive charge and the other sphere as being net negative charge. So therefore, there's a particle accelerator effect between the desire for everything to, to attract and the charges to equalize. Where they equalized, uh, we postulate a, uh, an event horizon that is like a mirror plane that everything on one side, if, if it's positive, then on the other side will be negative and vice versa. So at that point, uh, there is no movement because there's a zeroing out of the spin. Because as I said, everything's spinning. It's either imploding or exploding. So an implosion is clockwise, explosion is anti-clockwise. And that is what I postulate as being a time uh, on the exhaust side. It's an acceleration of time on the inside it's reversal of time and that has to meet at a point on an event horizon where those uh, disparate progressions of time zero out the frequency so there can be no matter on that zero plane and that's basically the theory under which this thunderstorm generator works. So Thank you, Malcolm. What I've done here is I've added some encapsulated 400 ASA black and white film, and uh, you can see the distance there is about the best part of two hands from there, so we can get that dimension. And then I've got one over here, halfway down the tube. Uh, so you can see here, you can see any emissions, our little birdies, our strange radiation emissions at these distances. 
What kind of temperature are we expecting this to get to? Uh, we'll have that on a thermal camera, uh, but as I said, we've just changed this out. It was had to have a T piece before we were losing a lot of heat. Uh, so I do expect around 400 degrees C here, 350 to 400 degrees C. Okay, and down the other end here, what have you got down here? So here we have the, uh, the exit of the exhaust and the, you, again you have a 24 inch sphere with an 18 inch sphere inside it to create the resonance on a, a 4-3-2 basis. The ratios 4 to 3 between the 24 and the 18. So this is all on sacred geometry and ratios and I think that that's part of what our society has lost. You know, has amnesia over the, the importance of angles and ratios in design.